adopting agile, the struggle is real. So we have stories to tell about adopting agile and yeah. some of the things that we've seen as far as the resistance. I, I, I don't know how to put it, but I don't know how to put it like in, a, in or the right words to explain that sometimes it can be a struggle. Yeah. What's been what have been what have been your experiences when it comes to adopting agile? Do you see it more from the developer side? Is it the leadership side? Is would you say that you kind of need both? Could you do it with just developers or just the leadership? Uh, I'm just curious. I, I'm just I want to know from a developer's perspective. When, what, what, what kind of struggles do you run into? When our team, our full engineer development team, switched from waterfall to agile. Surprisingly, it came from management, from actually higher, higher up management and says, hey, we're going to be doing this now. Okay. But it was a struggle for the management that was more involved. So like higher management said, yes, I mean, we're going to be doing agile. But the ones underneath them who are more aligned or more direct with the developers were very resistant because in agile, the management, you know, the DE managers, the directors, they have to take a little bit more of a step back in Agile versus Waterfall where they're like more directive. And so that was one of the biggest struggles for them is that they did not have as much as a say. Developers loved it because they got the power, right? They got the power to write the stories. They got the power to say, I'm going to take this story. I'm going to do this. So the power kind of move towards the developer. So most developers actually want to do it this way because they have more say into be what it can be. But like for anybody, it's going to be hard to let go of something that you've been doing for so long. Yeah. Um, it is what you know. And it's not going to be a night and day kind of flip. It's not going to be, okay, tomorrow we're going to do it. And ultimately, there are a lot of books and a lot of things. I mean, we're talking about it. But there is no cookie cutter for anybody. You got to figure out what works best for you. And so that is a struggle to figure that out. Now, you touched on something. It's, it's developers suddenly have more say in what they're doing. Doesn't that come with more responsibility? It does, because now it's on the developers who said, I can do these tasks. And if they don't, then that is on them. It is more responsibility. They do need to have defined the proper DOD, right? So if you don't define it, let's just say somebody put a DOD, the definition of done, and which is needed to complete a user story, and let's say that they didn't even put testing on there. Then yeah. it's kind of like, well, yeah. your product isn't well done, even though you finished the coding part. If you didn't put testing on your DOD, then what good is that, right? Well, so. let me ask you something else. You, you, so, more responsibility. Uh, in an earlier episode, we were talking about daily stand-ups. And you get to share where you might be stuck with things and so forth. Doesn't mm -hmm. that imply that there's a lot more transparency in Supposed the entire to be. process? Supposed okay. to be. Okay. I mean, definitely it should be. But I think that is also a struggle. People don't want to admit that, hey, I'm blocked, or hey, I'm not, I should have had this done, but I don't have it done, right? So even from a developer perspective, if I said that it was only going to take me a day to do it and it, I'm not done, you have to be okay to admit and say, hey, I'm blocked, this is why. Yeah. Maybe it's it took longer than I expected it, and it needs to be okay. So in the past, maybe it was like every week on a, on a Thursday or something. Uh, I'm going to report back and say, this is what I've been doing, but I've been stuck for the past three to four days, and mm -hmm. I don't have anything to show right now. Yeah. Right? Versus in Agile, and, and the struggle, I mean, the struggle's real. In Agile, you're looking at something every day. Yeah. Showing progress. You're, you're probably checking things in. So electronically, you're seeing a lot of transparency in your work. And then it also makes it where it's almost like as a parent, right? Hey, did you, did you go and brush your teeth? Did you go and yeah. make your bed, right? If you keep on asking them those questions, it'll get done faster rather than if you ask them two days later. Yeah. It's a little bit too late. You just wasted a yeah. whole bunch of time. And ultimately, you didn't deliver something that was going to help the end customer, whoever that may be, yeah. internal, external, mm -hmm. what have you. So other things that you feel are 
a struggle for some organizations to adopt in adopting Agile? I mean, just defining story points is a difficult thing. Um, it's, you, you start blind with that. You don't know what it is. And a lot of people, when they start, all you have to do is you're going to just assume. I assume, I believe that this task is going to take this long. I mean, you haven't done the task, so how are you going to know how long it's going to take? Right. So it takes a long time to really understand it and being able to know how little to break down the user stories. In some teams, their user stories are so big that they try to inflate their sprint duration so that they can fit it, but in reality, they should have broke broke it down further. So it's actually a very important piece to be able to define your user stories properly, because if you don't, the struggle is going to really oh show during the sprint. Yeah, so it sounds to me like that in of itself can be an episode where we deep dive yes. into what's sounding like an art almost, the art of of story points, yeah. And, and like no two story points can be exactly alike, no. I would imagine, just because everyone has different skills. And mm -hmm. so, but we'll cover that, I think, in but another, I mean, hopefully. Like, like the story points for one product, for the exact same type of work, might be different. It's just, it's kind of like based on each other. Yeah, based on yeah. each user story relative to each other. And I mean, even DOD, right? If you define way too many things, task in your DOD, how much time are you spending at? At some point when I was developing, we felt like some user stories you'll spend two days, and then you'll spend four days doing DOD. And then you have to be like, is this realistic? So finding that balance between everything is also a struggle. Wow, it, mm -hmm. it sounds easy on, on the surface to say, yeah, we're gonna adopt Agile, but it sounds like there are there's some things to think about. Oh, yeah. And I think I think we're hopefully can, can start diving deep into some of these subjects like definition of done. Yeah. Uh, and, and so I think, I think in, in future episodes we'll do that. So thank you for joining us. Uh, if there are any final comments, but thank you for joining yeah. us. Uh, we're going to deep dive into these. Hopefully give us some comments in the comments section down below, and we will catch you in the next episode.